kind of valuable work they do do. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> this is Craig here with Shimoto Travels. So today's the first day I'm out on the bike after the floods hit the Vancouver region here. So I elected to stay indoors for a number of days, not only because the rain was unbelievably heavy, but I just figured I'd stay away from certain areas if they were trying to do cleanup. Now the waters have receded a bit, but you can still see they're still sitting in the fields here. It is a lot better than it was last week. On Monday and Tuesday, you couldn't see nothing but water all the way up to those greenhouses. So my plans for this video changed a little bit. <laughs> the one that I was working on I had to stop working on it because of all the events that happened in the lower mainland in Fraser Valley and, and especially the Sumas Valley area. The next video I was working on was in that region I had to stop it. So today is going to be a little bit different of a video for the fact I'm going to talk about the floods here in the Vancouver area but I'm not going to focus on the negative stuff and the pictures and all that kind of stuff because there's reporters for that and the TV stations and helicopters do a fantastic job and and I can't do nothing like what they do but what I am going to do on this video I'm gonna focus on a little bit of a topic about the effects from this flood and the topics gonna basically be to show my appreciation for the truckers out here the truckers and the rail engineers. And I want to talk about a little bit of a thank you, uh, my appreciation for what those people have to go through, especially in times like this that are so unpredictable. So at the end of this video today, I got a question I want to ask everybody watching. So I had a video that I produced a year ago in December of 2020. And the video was about Sumas Lake or what used to be Sumas Lake out there. Now this week, it just caught me by surprise. The video kind of caught fire and got a whole ton of views and a lot of comments, a lot of great comments. But after I talk on the video here today about showing my appreciation to the trucking industry and the rail engineers, I got a question I want to ask all of you and I want to get some feedback on what do you guys think? So stick around to the end or skip ahead, whatever you want to do. But I thank you for watching. So I'm just on the outskirts here today of the flood zone in the Sumas Valley. So this is just south and east of Abbotsford and right along the edge and I'm not going to try and get in any further because uh, I'm not doing anything about the flood itself but I wanted to recognize the truck drivers you know they had to react during this situation here and I can't even imagine how tough it would be for the dispatchers and the truck drivers and the rail engineers I'll show you a quick clip of the rail line that I just saw here in Huntington. Well, here's an example of one of the rail lines with the damage that happened from the floods. An example of all the cleanup that's going to have to happen in these farmers' fields. 
in a situation like this where all of a sudden an event happens and the roads get closed almost immediately, you can't even react fast enough. And this one was so bad because the amount of rain that hit in the mountains around the Hope area and Agassiz and Chilliwack. And then all of a sudden every road out of Vancouver was closed and flooded. Basically Vancouver was cut off from the rest of Canada by road and by rail. So there's a whole bunch of truck drivers that got stranded. And I can't imagine how tough it would be on them. All of a sudden you're stranded in some overpasses and there's water everywhere. And you know what I saw on the news a little bit later is how people started panicking because they're worried about is there going to be enough food? And what happens? i got to go out and buy everything. Gasoline and... You know, at times like that, they recognize how important the truck driving industry is, the transportation industry. Well, here we are about five days later and the waters have come down quite a bit. So I'm here on Lower Sumas Mountain and right behind me is one of the areas that was the flood affected zones for the Sumas Valley. Now the, like you see the waters have gone down quite a bit but they're still all over the place. So again I just wanted to say salute, my hats off and the recognition for all the truckers out there and everyone in the transport industry for what you guys do in times like this. You know, the truckers, they have such a tough job, especially times like this, in times of the floods and like last year, 2020, and they kept on working when a lot of people are sitting at home. And a lot of people just don't recognize the fact of, you know, everything that's on the shelves, whether it's food or goods, has got to get there somehow. And you know, looking back in the 70s, the trucking industry used to be glorified. Remember. <laughs> They'll probably get mad at me for bringing up stuff like this, but those old movies like Convoy and Smokey and the Bandit, and everybody wanted to be a trucker because it was so cool at that time. And I know that they're going to get mad at me for bringing up stuff like that. And here's a shout out to one of the subscribers that follows me all the time and comments on a lot of videos. And he's a trucker, retired trucker, so hey, old Pete. <laughs> He's, he comments on a lot of my videos because he recognizes a lot of roads that I've been on. And if I remember right, he's been in the trucking industry for 46 years and now retired. So there's a shout out to old Pete. Thanks a lot for all your comments. <laughs> so like I said, I was going to ask a question at the end of this video and I'd like some opinions from everybody who's going to watch this video. So right behind me, up to that other mountain range, that's that old area that used to have Sumas Lake. And at the end of this video, I'll have a link to that video I made last year, but where did Sumas Lake go? So the question that I have is, especially after this week's events, with everyone having to protect the Barrelton pump station because that was just about to fail with all the water, and with all the works they have to do on the dikes and trying to drain this area again, my question is, should they stop fighting Mother Nature? Should we just let it go back to a lake like it was? Or do we keep on paying for the pump station and keep on paying to fight all this? Because it's not the first time this flood has happened if you see this picture here of 1990. But what's your opinion? What do you think we should do? Should we let Mother Nature win or keep fighting her? Anyhow, I really enjoy all the comments and I'd like to see what your opinions are about that. Well, on my little drive around the Sumas area here today, it was pretty cool and I was able to get to meet Mark Robinson. I met him in the Huntington area and we had a nice little conversation for a bit. <laughs> Here's a picture of him. <laughs> I like watching his heats when he gets into these really bizarre weather situations. <laughs> the poor guy gets put in the toughest situations. <laughs> Much 
Giants baseball happening in there today. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short little unplanned video today. All I'm trying to do is keep a little bit of a positive spin on the flooding here instead of everybody focusing on the negative all the time. And my positive spin is uh, thank you to all the truckers out there. Anyhow, I'll get back to some of my planned videos here short, soon enough. We're going to be having one up coming here about a giveaway video pretty soon, so watch out for that one. And then uh, come in the new year, I got a video coming out about our plan in 2022. And we're both pretty excited and looking forward to what we're working on right now. So have a watch out for that one. And I'll get back to my travel and destination videos as soon as things open up to some of the places I want to get to here. Okay, thanks again for following along on my little escapades. <laughs> Take care, ride safe, and stay safe. Cheers. But honestly, they don't get recognized for the tough job they do do. They do do. <laughs> well, what kind of valuable work they do do to keep our lives simple.